guys, Joe here from Xbox Games. Check it out. We got the Nerf Flip Shots Elite 8 or Flip 8 here. Now, what's kind of crazy about this is, you know, I, I seen other reviews on this and I was like, okay, I, I don't want to get it. I don't think I'm ever going to really ever use this in a Nerf battle. There's so many other better options. But I thought, you know what? Wait a second. I think this Flip Shots is going to be an actual line of the Elite 2.0, right? They're, I mean, this is the Flip 8. They're probably going to have a Flip 16, a Flip 32. I don't know. I have a feeling they're going to come out with more of those. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Leave it down in the comments because I was like, man, I don't want to do it. But you know what? Let's get this thing. And what's kind of crazy about the Elite 2.0 line is we've done them all, right? We've done every single Elite 2.0. And with this, if you could see by the box, we'll just pull this up here. Yeah, it's flip shots. So this is the, I thought this was going to be the, uh, you know, just an additional blaster to the Elite 2.0 standard series that we've seen come out last year, right? But it looks like flip shots is going to be a kind of a subcategory on the Elite 2.0. So again, this is the flip bait. So I imagine they're gonna come out with more that have some type of flipping mechanism that shoot more, bigger, I, I don't know yet, but yeah. So I was like, okay, let's grab this thing. Now, uh, on this particular blaster, we picked this up from our local Walmart. Again, super easy to grab or you can get them online. These things are readily available. Um, kind of gimmicky, I, I give you that, but I was like, okay, let's, let's give it a shot. So let's take a look at this thing up close. Um, up close, I mean, check it out. I mean, okay. It has that green, which is different than the standard Elite 2.0 line, right? And overall, I mean, it's not too bad. I wanted to pull this up comparison so you guys can see this to the Elite 2.0 turbine. It was by far probably my favorite Elite 2.0 blaster out of the original series. So check this out. I know I got my drum on here, but if we take a look at it, um, again, it's like a different blue. Uh, it's darker, uh, which is kind of crazy i thought they'd be the same kind of color but again it looks darker than the original uh kind of elite 2.0 line so you know that just again led me to believe okay we got this green on there that green is probably going to be a a staple to the flip shot series but i definitely wanted to show you that yeah they are definitely they don't i mean they don't really go together by any means now the grip on this feels actually pretty good uh it is a little front heavy because it has that whole flipping mechanism up there so it is a little front heavy but it's not too terribly bad, right? Now, <laughs> the top, especially how this works, is that sight slash integrated. You would think that's how it would cock, but when you pull it back, you can see here, yeah, it flips that whole kind of front, right? And what's crazy too is, look at this, guys. Can you see the, can you see that? Can you guys see the, uh, the little, I don't know, the little logo there? So when you push it back, when you pull it back, it goes, and then you push it forward, it kind of rotates. Look at that. So, I don't know, I mean, it's kind of cool. It does take up a whole lot of room up there in the front. I mean, it is probably 75% of the blaster. So you don't, you don't have a lot of room to hold it with two hands unless you're not gonna flip it, right? When you kind of pull it back. So, you know, kind of take that with a grain of salt. Again, it holds eight rounds, which isn't too bad. Now it does come with these kind of greenish, light greenish rounds. Now, again, I haven't seen these particular rounds before. So again, correct me if I am wrong, guys, in the comments. I have not seen this kind of green color combo before. So it is what it is. I shot all kinds of different uh, darts out of this, and you know what? They all worked very well. So let's hop right in. Yeah, let's, again, let's take, a look, let's take a look at me shooting. You can see I set up my, uh, my X-Shot kind of thing back there. Again, just a different target, added a few more pop cans. And I'm about, I don't know, 20 to 25 feet-ish away. I'm not too terribly far. And I think I have seven shots in there, somewhere, somewhere right in there. So, I mean, coming in FPS-wise, yeah, this thing, again, isn't shooting terribly, terribly hard. Uh, I averaged about 65 to 75, really averaged about 70 if the darts were all the way pushed in and they were, you know, they were not halfway in, halfway out of the blaster. And it took a little while for me to get used to because I'm so used to priming the blaster on the bottom, right? and then pushing it back up, not pulling it and then leaving it. And then sometimes I felt I, I accidentally pulled back on that top scope thinking that's how you would uh, prime the blaster. But again, it's, you know, it's, it's, a di it's a different concept. So sometimes I would rotate it when I didn't mean to rotate it. And then sometimes I would try to push back up the prime thinking that's what you're supposed to do, but it's not. You just kind of pull it down and then you shoot. So uh, yeah, it took a little while for me to get used to because again, it's, uh, 
it's a little different. I haven't, see, I haven't seen this kind of switching mechanism before. So again, 70 FPS, not bad. It's about mid-pack with what you'd expect on the uh, kind of the, the nerf line for this, right? If it's not battery operated. Eight shots, you know, you know kind of quiet, kind of accurate. Again, with different darts, yeah, you get a little bit more accuracy. Slight in FPS increase when you're using the Dart Zone Pro stuff, but still, you know, take your, your favorite dart and use it. But, I mean, there you go, guys. Again, you know, I just wanted to do a quick review on this because I, I've seen it on the shelves. I've seen other people do it. And I was like, you know what? Okay, I'll add it to my Elite 2.0 line, and uh, who knows? Uh, you know, maybe they're going to make more of these flip shots. I am almost positive. Again, flip shots is the subcategory in the Elite 2.0 line, and this is, yeah, the Flip 8. You know they're going to have a Flip 16, a Flip 32. I just don't know how it's going to be, if there's going to be some, you know, a, a one you can bump shot up here or something like that, or one that shoots multiple, then you could flip it and then shoot, like, four more. That would be awesome. It's like a mini shotgun. That would be awesome if you could shoot four, flip it, cock it, shoot it, and shoot an additional four. That would be awesome. But still, is it worth it? Um, for me, no. I, I, I'm not going to use this. I would, again, much rather use my turbine. Um, and again, for eight shots, there's so many other blasters that are available on the market that um, are, are just better than this. Look better, functionality is better, but hey, that is my two cents. I quickly wanted to do this. Let me know what you guys think, or even if you guys pick this up or plan to pick it up. I know some of you guys will probably pick it up because um, you guys have a huge collection. Yeah, you, Warhawk, Nerf Talk, come on. I, I you know, <laughs> um, I, so I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with this thing. Maybe I'll give it away or something like that if, uh, you know, maybe Nerf Talk, if you guys don't have it yet, maybe I'll send it up your way because I will probably not use this. Anyways, again, uh, definitely subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. We do have another giveaway coming out here soon, uh, hopefully here anytime soon. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Thanks again, Fox fans.